Steve, there's a couple of thousand people who have experienced the highs and lows of racing this last week. Yeah, they sure have. Um, it was a bit of a right hook uh, for everyone and, and quite sad, really, uh, for people across the country who were, who were deeply engaged in uh, what was shaping up as a fairy tale story. Uh, yeah, that is that is racing, but uh, you know you've got to feel for the breeders, the owners, for the Heathcote stable, and 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 those thousands that were were on the bandwagon. Yeah, but um, where a door closes, a window opens for someone else, and here it is, Eduardo, um, the talented Rachel King. Uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I've been amazed with the response around the appointment of Rachel. Uh, they, uh, there's so much positivity around her and the way she's riding and her enthusiasm and uh, she's on the rise and uh, I guess it tags in nicely to, to the story of, of what micro-ownership's about and, and, what, and what my Everest is about, uh, you know, with a couple of thousand people and, uh, you know, Rachel trying to stamp, stamp her place uh, on the big time. Uh, yeah, it fits in nicely. There was a lot of eyes on Classique Legend in the shorts, but that was a solid run by Eduardo, and he really put his name in Everest contention that day, didn't he? He sure did. Uh, you know, if you look at the replay and see him posted wide the trip, the fact that he still that he was able to be there at the end uh, so strong, and with a bit of improvement still in him, our uh, our panel who selected him are. Uh, are suggesting that he needs to improve, but not much to win the Everest. So uh, Joe Joe Pride is confident that he he's got uh, you know another length or so, if not more, in him. Um, in which case things pan out. Yeah, he, he might just be there. Well, in this industry that we all love, it, it's informed trainers as well. Like Joe Pride has his team flying. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's it's. <laughs> He's the sort of trainer that can win these big sprint races. We know that, and uh, the the guys, the two thousand people that are in the uh, in, in the Myverse team, they are now receiving updates from Joe. There's been two sent out this morning, and you can just sense it in Joe's voice. He's he's he's, he's suggesting this horse is a, a real chance of uh, of being there, a real chance of winning the race, and uh, yeah, that's part of the excitement now that builds. Um, you know, getting in close with with Joe and and, and the horse and getting you know building a bit of a bond with eduardo and it'll be an amazing experience over the next three weeks oh it certainly will and as you said joe he's been so confident around this horse for so long now and it's it, it's a wonderful story so my understanding is eduardo will trial next week and then it's on to the big one the the world's that, richest that, race on turf yeah that's always been their plan they've been confident of getting a slot in the everest uh, they were never going to run again uh, after the shorts. They were going straight in. They've, they're, they're a pretty astute bunch, the guys. The owners have been wonderful. Uh, they, they've got the full backing of Joe Pride. Uh, yeah, that's their plan, and we're going to see a, a bit of a taste of that with the trial, but uh, it'll be on come three weeks. All right, we ask everyone for a tip. You, mm -hmm. you, you know, what have you got for us today? Just a, just a little bit each way, all care, no responsibility. What have you got <laughs> for us, brother? Well, Tim, if, you, if you're taking tips from me, you're in trouble. But the, I, the thing I would tip would be just to get involved in this industry. It is a wonderful sport. Uh, it's now with the, with the micro-ownership movement that we have in place uh, with the Racing League, uh, with, with uh, the Everest opportunity here, that everyone can play in racing now. It is an amazing sport. Until you own, you don't know how wonderful it can be. Uh, Max, he's got a, a saying he, he likes to use that life's for living and and owning a racehorse is part of living and uh, now it's affordable. Uh, the racing league, you can be in, uh, you can be an owner in six really expensive horses for, for $200. It's uh, until you, until you experience it, it's hard to explain, but uh, that would be my tip to people to get into ownership. Have you ever been in politics? Because that was, that was the most on point response. I've ever been involved with in 30 years of broadcast. That was just sensational. I'm just trying to avoid me giving tips. <laughs> but congratulations to you, Steve, because yes. you are the brainchild yes. of the Racing League, which does launch in 2021. And it is a wonderful opportunity. It's something that's going to be really fun and I think it will change uh, this industry. And it's something that so many people are getting behind. So well done to you. And um, look, all the very best for the next two weeks because I know it has been a roller coaster this last week. 
Thanks, guys. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Julie. And go the Blues in the Racing League. Go the mighty New South yeah, Wales. Yeah, New South Wales. Yeah, they are selling quickly. Yeah, they are. It's interesting to see. Uh, yeah, the Blues are selling the fastest at the moment, but uh, not too far are the Queensland Rogues and no. uh, the Vic Hustlers. So uh, it's really that tribalism is underway already and people are piling in. There's thousands who've bought in, so it's, it's pretty exciting.